Hello there, everyone. This is Quiver C, and welcome back to Jazz Jack Rabbit. We have finished all of the main episodes. We have finished all of the Jazz CD bonus episodes. And now it is time to go to Holiday Hair. Now, Holiday Hair is very different. First of all, these were both released as standalone shareware episodes, in fact. And I say both because there are two versions of Holiday Hair. Specifically, Holiday Hair 1994 and Holiday Hair 1995. Now, the funny thing is, both versions are on Jazz CD, which is what the GOG version I've been playing is centered around. But the way you access them is a little bit weird. So, I'm pretty sure that this one that we're gonna select here is only gonna be for Holiday Hair 94. Once I hit the button, I'll know for sure. Yep, Holidayus. This is Holiday Hair 94. We'll go into Holiday Hair 95 in a minute, but yeah, okay, gotta kill that thing. I, I do have a very fond memory, or very distinct memory, rather, of these rabid blue bulldogs. Although I did forget about this weird, like, techno rock version of Jingle Bells. We also have ice physics, as uh, one would expect, similar to Planet Nippius. I'm gonna take that, thank you. Give me them, uh, them missiles. Now, similar to the vast majority of episodes I, that I've played in the past, I know I played this episode, I don't know if I beat it. Like, I don't remember anything beyond snowy Christmas-themed land and the blue bulldogs. Those things made an impression on me. What can I say? Actually, this is more than just Jingle Bells. This is playing a bunch of Christmas music. Now it's going Rudolph. <laughs> There's Deck the Halls. Honestly, not a bad remix. Maybe a little heavy for my tastes, but it's clever. I gotta give it that. Yum. Oop. Okay. I did not want to fall down there. Oop. Yum. And I didn't want to pick up the other carrot, Dagnabbit. Oh, that was just way back then. Ugh! Going in a loop! Okay, just hold right and jump. See, this is why I didn't want to... This is why I didn't want to get those carrots, but now I need to go backwards because I want that. I want to get my shield back. This will be the last time I make this jump. There. Get rid of the bulldog. And keep going forward. I do have to wonder what is up with the blue bulldogs, though. Like, we've fought two enemies here. Skiing turtles and Santa hats. Which fits, you know, that fits the theme pretty well, I'd say. Rapid fire, rapid and then fire. blue bulldogs foaming at the mouth. The heck? Like, at the very least, if you're gonna do a stage like this, give me back the goofy snowmen from Nippius, please. Those guys were amazing. Ooh, okay. Gotta be careful. Whoa, okay. I really want some carrots. Was that an invincibility star? I do believe it was an invincibility star. I can't get it, though. There we go. Okay, that, there was a spring down there. I was hoping that was going to be this is the end. Why the invincibility star, though? Oh, well. Let's get some gems. Why not? Going to get ourselves some bonus gems. I only need 35 this time, so this is easier than... Uh, this is easier than what we did... Last time, where we needed, what, 50 of them? Oh, look, 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 look. Get it. There we go. Okay. 
down here. I feel like I've had this exact setup already. It might just be me, but I do feel like this feels familiar. Like the layout. Either that or I just had had some similar looking obstacles. Yeah. After hitting that dead end there, I'm now I'm not so sure. Gladly take that pointless hourglass though. I'm calling it pointless because I'm already at 32 out of 35. Go around here. And one, two, three. Extra life get! Alright, Holiday is 2! Wait. Why are we getting the planet thing again? Strange. I'm gonna guess that it's just because of the weirdness of Holiday Hair. Okay, there's something up those trees. Let's try this. Dang it. Fire! And a one-up! Okay! That, that was worth it. Let's go! Oh, so I dig the sunset look that this one's going for. Are those snow monkeys? Am I shooting snow monkeys? Why am I shooting snow monkeys? I mean, it make more sense than the blue bulldogs at the very least. Can I get a good look at them? Yep. They're not even, th th their motions are similar, but they're not even a re-sprite of the um, monkeys from Exoticus. They could have very easily done that. Or, Exoticus was part of, Exoticus was part of the CD episodes. I think this came out before then? Yeah, it would have had to. So I guess it's less fair to say that these weren't these could have easily been a resprite of that, and more fair to say that they would have been a resprite of these monkeys. The point is, they're distinct. They are not resprites, and I appreciate the effort. Yeah, yeah. That being said, I would also appreciate um, to fight something that isn't snow monkeys. For now, we're just gonna keep going and shooting the monkeys. Get them candy canes, too. Whoa, whoa. No, boy, tiny platforms. I mean, we've had tinier, but tiny platforms of any kind do not mesh with ice physics. Whoa. Because I will slip and slide, and there we go. Made it past. Dang it. Finally got hit by a monkey. Was trying my darndest to not let that happen. And lo and behold, uh, it, it happened. Ooh, okay. Got ourselves a teleport to here. Don't quite understand why we had to do it that way, but it is what it is. Give me them RF missiles. Give me more ammo that I can not use. I mean, I do use some, but I definitely don't use nearly as much as I pick up. Uh, that was way too close. Uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and use the missile there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm, say, I'm, I'm given a choice, and I don't know which way I want to go. I was not given a choice. But I did miss a bonus over there, I think. Unless I can get there from here. Not from that one, at least. All right, jump, jump, jump. Nope. Jump, no, jump, nope. Jump, jump. Nope. So easy to overshoot. Okay, go. Nothing, okay. Can't go there. I missed a bonus. That's all right. Yeet. Oh, I'm not getting all those missiles. That's fine. I don't need them. I just need my gun to shoot the monkeys. I bet there was a bonus over that way to the left.
We're still on holidays? Ooh! This is cool. We're on an, a Christmas lit evening playing Silent Night whilst horned devils roam the skies. But we're still on holiday. This is a this is unique then. This is a three world uh no, three stage world. That is bizarre. I wonder why they did it this way. Not even that I'm complaining, I'm just wondering. Although I am going to question why we get grabby hands from beyond the grave again. Well, despite the devils of grabby, ha grabby hands, I am liking this stage if nothing else for that remix of Silent Night. It's not really a remix, more of a rendition. Whatever, I like it, it's nice. Although, now that I stop and think about it, how weird is it that that is playing? I mean, we're playing a game, an action platformer with a gun-toting rabbit as he is shooting through devils, literal devils, and it's playing Silent Night. And yet somehow it doesn't feel out of place. That takes some talent. Okay, get them candy canes, and go to the right. Get super shield, immediately lose part of it. Ain't that just the way it goes? All right, I'm just gonna try and avoid as many of the grabby hands as I can. Although I'm very thankful to now have Bird to help me deal with them. Okay, checkpoint, and we are back to the warps. That's fine. That's fine. We can warp around a bit. I don't mind. Just head down. Yep. Grab your hands from the ceiling. We don't need... We do not need grabby hands on the ceiling. The ground is annoying enough, thank you very much. Looks like there was another way I could have come down in here. And I saw an arrow up there that's pointing down. I'm not sure how exactly I would have been able to get here from anywhere else. Or rather, how I could get to anywhere else besides here, I suppose I should say. All right, go down the hole. It wants me to go to the left, and that's because there is nowhere else to go unless there is nowhere else to go. Had to check. Okay, kill the devils. Kill the grabby hands as they appear. And that's it. Bit shorter than the other holiday stages so far. Is that it? Nice job! The brief stop over to holiday was a success. Jazz grabbed tons of holiday goodies and taught Devin's naughty goons to be nice by shooting them in the face. Not often we get a cutscene using like the actual in-game sprites like this. Okay, Holidayus is Santa's home planet. Got it. Jazz. Just. Okay, yep, there we go. <laughs> happy Holidays. We at Epic Mega Games wish you and your loved ones a safe, happy holiday season. Be sure to read Order Info to find out about Jazz CD. Thank you for your support. So wait, this would have been in the shareware version of Holiday. I guess they would have come out at around the same time then. Interesting. So yeah, that's, uh, that is Holiday Hair 94. Now, about Holiday Hair 95, we have to exit the game to do that. I suppose that's as good a time as any to show. Here's the credits. <laughs> the creators of Jazz, thank you for playing. Very small list. I do like that they have a specific credit for cheerleaders, though. Tim Sweeney and Mock Rain. They led the cheers. But now, if you give me just a moment. So.
whenever you load up Jazz Jack Rabbit CD or GOG, you actually get sent to this screen as opposed to the title. And as you can see here, you have to push a number button in order to um, actually launch it. I've been pressing one this whole time to launch the full CD-ROM version. But if I press three, we launch specifically Holiday Hair 95. And we're given a different uh, splash screen too. Epic Mega Games! Jazz Jackrabbit Holiday Hair 1995, showing that same holiday themed splash screen we saw a moment ago. And if we go to new game, we are only given the option to choose Holiday Hair. We cannot pick any of the other episodes. They're all read it out. See? Actually, what happens if I pick a different one? Because that one was a little bit eating. I'm, I'm gonna see what happens. Episode not available. Read the order info to find out how to purchase this episode from Epic Mega Games. I guess that's what it would have said in the original Shareware version too. But yeah, Holiday Hair 95 is completely different apparently. I have never played this one. Now approaching Candian. Oh yeah, this is different. Uh, what the heck? What is with this red rat? I'm gonna kill it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's just so much to take in right now. I, what am I doing, Jazz? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am appreciating another interesting holiday music rendition, this time Carol of the Freaking Bells, one of my favorites, while staring at gigantic Hershey's Kisses. What are you doing besides collecting said kisses? Oh, now I get it. The planet's name, it's, it's Candius, like, like candy. I, I, it wasn't until I saw the lollipop that I fully got it. This is a world made of candy, cookies, and sweets galore. That was a lot of kisses. Also, should mention that despite the fact that everything looks frozen, we are not beset with ice physics. A fact that I am extremely welcoming. Grab those kisses. I do like how the collectibles here are in different colors. Like different colored wrappers. It's simple, but it it's nice. Also, I really want to get that bird. I didn't have any TNT, I didn't think so. I want that bird! Can I like launch her that in some weird way? No, I didn't think so. There's gotta be a way to get that bird. I'm gonna try one more time. Can't go right there. Maybe here? No. Maybe here? No. I can't go right anywhere except out there. There's, like, nowhere to go. Weird. How am I supposed to get to the bird, then? Oh, well. I spent way more time trying to get that bird than what it's worth. Which is saying a lot, considering how powerful bird is. <laughs> Epic Mega Games! Now selling chocolate! Man. They sell chocolate. They sell soda. They sell video games. They sell anything. They are truly an ultimate mega corporation. Yeah. Yeah, that's honestly about right, though. <laughs> that last part, anyway. You know, said it before, said it again. I do love the silly dancing enemies, but I do have to question why Candius is populated by dancing red rats. We could have had dancing gingerbread men as enemies for crying out loud. That would have been so much better. I would love to be beset by evil gingerbread men. Especially if they danced. Uh, don't need the carrots. Kill the rat. Get more rapid fire. 
kill coasters. Kill more rats. We're down to two minutes. I just kind of phased through the world there. Not sure how I pulled that. Uh, saying it again, I just kind of phased through the world there. Not sure how I pulled that off. I think Jazz might be learning how to be a ghost. All right, well, now we've got invincibility, so I'm just going to book it as normal when I get invincibility. Where am I going? I have no idea, but I just got outside of the Candy Temple of Doom. So maybe I'm reaching some kind of an ending? Maybe. The answer is yes. Yes, I am. All right, well, I got most of the enemies, so I think I explored pretty well. Okay, so unlike Holidayus, this one actually loaded normally. It's stage two. It didn't have to load like an entirely new, uh, an entirely new Candyus. I wonder then, is this gonna be a full three episode thing? Like Holidayus was very much just one episode, one, one world. Oh, look at the, they're so sad. They're so sad, they got their heads bit off. I feel bad for those gingerbread men now. Um, but yeah, if this is a full three episode uh, thing, I might end up needing to split this up in a weird way, if that's the case. I don't know, we'll see. Honestly, I wasn't sure what to expect going into this. Um, but I did know that, um, which we'll call it. I did know that they were supposed to be short. Or at the very least, the first one was. I knew that was short. But I didn't realize it was just a single three-stage world. And obviously, I had no idea what to expect with this, other than it was going to be different. So, if this does get split up, then you can blame my lack of knowing what to, what's coming and my desire to be blind to this as a result of all that. Not sure what that other little side path there was about. I will gladly grab more rapid fire, even though I'm pretty sure I'm at the peak of rapid fire at this point. Another sad gingerbread man. I bet the rats did it. The rats are eating the gingerbread people, but not the chocolate bar. I want, I want that, I want that, I want that! Wait. Oh, I don't have any TNT. I kinda wanna go backward now. I want to hit the bonus. Okay. Is there anywhere else I can go? I'm not from here. Okay, hang on. No. There's got to be a way. Okay. Running in there a million times over is not doing anything. Oh, I bet it's here. No? No, it's not. Huh. Okay, then. Oh, I got an invincibility star. I didn't even notice. Okay, that is incredibly disappointing that I can see a bonus sign, but have no clue how to get to it. I would very much like to get it. And I think the only way I'm gonna get it is if I find some TNT. Ooh. Okay, well I found some jump springs, that's good. Found them on top of the spoons. Mm, nothing there. Nothing but carrots that I have wasted. Okay, now that I got some jump, though, can I do anything different here? Wait a second, wait a second. 
I think I saw my bullets going through another wall down there. This is the last time I'm going down here. Nope, okay. It's a mystery that I cannot solve. Unless I can find some TNT, I can't get there. That is my verdict. Although if I do find some TNT, I will run backwards. And there goes Bird. Dang it. I'm holding out a little bit of hope that maybe there's a... There it is. It was a hidden path on the opposite side. My own fault, then, for wasting so much time. Oh, man, this is even... This remix is even better at fast speed. I love this. There's something about it going at this speed. And it's back to normal speed. Still really good. But not as good as when it was fast. That's just my opinion. Alright. Well, clearly by trying to run back up, because I think I saw a one-up that I missed. That's why I ran backwards when I was up there a minute ago. And I think by doing that, I might have uh, wasted some of the benefits of that speed boost. Alright, is there anything else over this way? No. But I can go over here. I can pick up more speed. Uh, what about this? That doesn't take me anywhere. Alright, speed up! Sorry, I just wanted to enjoy the sped up version of the song there. <laughs> There's something about it that I really like. Uh, I feel like I was supposed to have my speed throughout that entire thing, though. That's kind of the vibe that that stage was giving me. Wait, are we on? We're going to a new world. Bloxonius. Bloxonius? It's a Lego world! And it's playing Little Drummer Boy? Oh no! I thought those might have been enemies! I have beheaded Lego people. Okay, that's that's not good. Probably shouldn't have done that. I don't know one of those cool background thing. Oh, that's that's clever. That's clever. Pens are the spikes of this world. And there is a derpy teddy bear there. Can I jump on these? No, I can't. <gasps> Lego planes? I'm being attacked by Lego planes. And... And a freaking raggedy hand doll? Good lord. Okay, so we've gone through, uh... <laughs> Energizer Bunny. What is this insanity? Good lord. We went through the world of just the holiday season, as it were. We've gone through the world of holiday treats, and now we are in the world of holiday toys and gifts. Uh, there's... Devin as a jerk in the box. I love it. Oh. Epic Maze. You can see it's, it's it says epic and then there's just Mace. They didn't have the blocks to make it say games. But they are letting you know, whatever they are, they're epic. Getting hit by a battalion of uh, Lego planes up there. Don't need none of that. Also, I don't know what those pink things I've been shooting are, but I have a feeling that they're dangerous. Oh. 
Okay, that was weird. That particular block was acting differently than other blocks that I stood on before. It doesn't take me with it. Aha! Invincibility is mine! And I'ma just, I'ma just keep running. I don't, I don't need to mess with no planes or dolls or nothing. We are just gonna keep on charging. All right, it just wore off. I gotta slow down now. Uh, oh, got more of them moving Legos up here. Yeah, the way those things, like you can kind of see it, the way that Jazz stutters on them. I don't know why he's doing that, but it does not feel good. Alright, keep pressing on. Whoa. Eek. Whoa! Hold the phone! What is he doing here? Okay. That rabbit right there is actually a character called Spaz. And the only reason I'm aware of this is because I have also played Jazz Jack Rabbit 2, which is where he is introduced as a character. Hence my surprise. The heck is he doing here? I didn't think he was a thing until Jazz Jack Rabbit 2. I might need to take a look and see when Jazz 2 came out. Because I know it wasn't that long after Jazz Jack Rabbit 1. But I didn't think it was 95. I figured it was like 97 or something. I don't know. I, I, I legitimately do not know. But now I need to find out. I was not expecting to run into Spaz. Also, while I'm on the subject, that name, pretty terrible. <laughs> Which is weird because in my limited recollection of Jazz Jackrabbit 2, Spaz was always the character I played. Couldn't tell you why. I remember even less about that game than I do about this one. But Spaz is one of the things I remember. Believe it or not, the only other thing I remember from Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 is there's an opera singer. I have no further context to add. Perhaps we will add that context in the future, because I'm sure I'll play the second game at some point. I was hoping one TNT would have killed that Raggedy Ann, but alas, it was not the case. I don't like that I've lost basically all of my defenses. I mean, I still have one charge on my turbo shield left, but that ain't much. How many TNTs do I have? Eleven? There we go. Alright, we are at our checkpoint going, and I just lost my shield. These red planes... Oh, okay. This whole time I thought they were stationary, but no. They, like so many other enemies in this game, uh, they're booze. They're, they're just booze. I'm about to die. Need to be very, very careful. Gladly take a little bit of an ammo resupply run there. There's another spaz down there. I would very much like to not die. TNT, two TNT. I think this is the most I have ever used my TNTs in this game. And I am a-okay with that fact. Safety. I am very thankful, by the way, that this game does not have bottomless pits of any kind. Like, sure, it's got spiky pits and pits that lead into enemies that you can't see, which is why I was afraid there. But at least I never need to worry about a bottomless pit. There's always gonna be something to catch you down there. It just might not be something friendly. 
Alright, that takes care of, uh, what was the place called? Bloxius? Don't miss the continuing adventures of Jazz. Call this number and check it out. I guess that's the end. And this is obviously showing some scenes from Jazz uh, CD's exclusive stages. Thank you for playing Jazz Jackrabbit Christmas Edition 1995! And we thank you for your business and hope look forward to seeing you in 1996. Uh, it feels weird seeing things like that to just outright date it. But it is what it is. Yay, I did it! So that was both holiday hairs, which means that there is, in fact, nothing left to do. I guess I could look at order info for the fun of it. Having fun? We hope so! You're playing Jazz Jackrabbit Christmas Edition. Please call us at this number, which I'm not even sure if that number is still valid, honestly, to order nine more Amazing Jazz episodes on CD. It feels so weird to do that. Until January 31st, 1996. <laughs> this is what I mean. This You would never see something like this, like, hard-coded into a game like this. This is the kind of stuff you would see on, like, a live service game or something. So I guess Jazz CD was $50 back in the day. Nine episodes! Nine times the fun! Yep, that's... that is about right. Five megs of cartoon animation. Full color jazz comic book. So that tells you how big this game was. Five megabytes. Not not a lot by today's standards. If you can't handle that much action, you can send a check or money order. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know why this is so funny to me, seeing this. Also, only Maryland residents need to add sales tax. Everyone else is fine, just Maryland. Probably state law at the time. And we are given details of each and every episode. Are you kidding me? I never actually looked at this. Hold on, I just ran right into chases on. Smack the Schwarzen Turtles? What the heck are Schwarzen Turtles? I don't know if I want to know. Any other spank monkeys on Reniferous? No, thank you. I don't like the way that's phrased. Also, they spelled Dexstar differently here than they did in um, than they did in the actual episode itself. Man, this is so weird. This is so weird to see. Oh, and there's UK ordering info, of course. Weird. Yeah, these, these, this, these are all the people you could you could contact to order this game back in the day. It's just here on the disc. That's all. Let's go kick some butt. We we have done plenty of that. Oh man, this has been a heck of an experience. This has been a heck of an experience. But I certainly hope that you've enjoyed it. I know I have. But that's going to do it for now, and I think next time, I'm going to return to something a little bit more familiar. But I, I am very glad that I went and went through this. I don't know why the high score thing came up. And I will definitely be visiting some old DOS games in the future. There's just, there's a charm to them that is hard to emulate. Until next time, though, thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.